Welcome back. It is time for some spring cleaning, but are you so overwhelmed? <laughs> you just don't even know where to start. Or do you struggle to let things go? Our next mm -hmm. guest is the author of the new Amazon best-selling book, 17 Spatulas and the Man Who Fried an Egg. Reclaim your space mentally and physically. <laughs> and she's also the owner of the organizing mentors, Lisa Geraci Rigoni. Welcome to Great Day. Good to Thank see you again. You. Good to see you too. Thanks. It's that time of year we all think about it. Sometimes you get to a room or yes. even just a drawer like nope not today overwhelming, <laughs> it's <a little> overwhelming. <laughs> shut it again uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah when it comes to this book first uh, 17 spatulas of the man it's with the fried title. egg it's a cute title how'd you come to that well it's um i went i met a woman who had 17 spatulas and couldn't believe it 17 is always <laughs> my go-to when you exaggerate something you oh. know and then oh, i met wow. a woman who had 17 and actually, she actually had, had 17. and each spatula had a reason had a purpose had you know had there's something like she mm. made the pancakes with this one and this one was for that and what she didn't want was or what the things that the spatulas that didn't matter to her were the new ones that her mm. family was trying to replace the old ones <laughs> so yeah. in my business my philosophy is keep stuff that means something to you mm. you know you don't have to yeah. have the newest best sparkly mm -hmm. ones yeah the ones that you want to keep have have a meaning for you yeah and then the man who fried an egg uh, is a gentleman I worked with for his story goes through the book and I worked with him for about eight months and wow he wow. was a hoarder Wait. oh and, okay I was um, like he must have a lot of yeah, stuff yeah he did and he had a very traumatic event happen oh. and um, so it took us a long time to go through that but the therapy he was also working with a therapist mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. the work we did with him changed him mm -hmm. and changed me yeah and at the end of eight months we obviously well not obviously couldn't get in his kitchen and he called me and oh. he said I just want you to know I fried oh. an egg in my kitchen for the first oh. time in eight years wow, That's wow. so the title represents right. kind yeah. of easy things which not going through things are easy but then yeah what we do is what the people journey can do to change your yeah. whole life yeah. You, know, you don't think this, organizing changes your life. I think you, I think this quote's in your book. The stuff about your stuff is not about your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Does that make sense? Yeah, oh, yeah. So Explain stuff, it. If it. Yeah, it's the hard stuff to get. we make up about our stuff mm -hmm. isn't about the stuff. Mm. It's the mental clutter. And that's what the book mm -hmm. is really about, is asking the questions why we hold on to stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. you brought a stack here, I yes, did. which I think at this time, you know, tax time too. Everybody's going yes. through. We got all and this, these papers. This, was, uh, this is Give my this is my stack of stuff that we, my husband and I, we we have stacks. It's okay. Everybody yeah. does. But the thing when there's piles of it, and this is a small pile, right? Yeah, yeah. What I rec what I recommend, one of my tips, turn the turn it over because the stuff on the bottom is going to be the oldest. And oh, if you, so you get the to it little first. system, L-I-T-L, yeah. the first step is let it go. What are the things you know you don't want? Well, I haven't looked at this in 10 years, so right. I can get rid of this. We do it with uh, clothing, like on your shelf, yeah. all the sh sweaters or the sweatshirts or the, you know, uh, flip yeah. them over. Because you want to start uh. with what you feel comfortable getting rid of if right. you want to uh. release it from your life. If not, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I forgot this sweater or I didn't you know I didn't finish this book then you keep it then you, keep you feel it. that way so okay. your decision shop in a closet <laughs> yeah yes, I've been exactly. shopping my closet lately I'm like oh I forgot <laughs> I, I had that sweater that. well yeah. have you ever walked in your closet and it's full of beautiful things you're like, yeah. nothing, and nothing to wear, to wear. yes yeah because there's yes. just too much so if mm. it's it's you surround yourself with things that mean something to you yeah or have you know like my mom kept sweatshirts that had spill on it because I gave it to her Aww. and she was fine with that I you know that. so keep things <laughs> yeah. you know that means yeah. something to you it's not making everything pretty and organized you know some people love that but right. most of my yeah. clients most people in the world just want mm -hmm. to be able to find everything have like not crazy clutter in yeah. their head yeah. when they walk into a room something meaningful you mm -hmm. helped so many people lisa congrats on the book yeah, i know it's been a big bestseller and for help yes. in reclaiming your home and mine check out the organizing mentors Dot com to get in touch mm -hmm. with Lisa. Thanks so Thank much. You. You're and welcome. Cookies. Yes, cute and too. have a cookie. I know. <laughs> <laughs>